hi everybody i have one device here today so this is uh, especially for cooling and heating controller so i have uh, some specific devices here three three part and one is the micro microprocessor and other one is the uh, lcd screen with the keypad so other one is the iod you can see the three relay and some other component and also i have the sensor it's for the analog input which is uh, regarding to the high temperature and low temperature he will detect the temperature and he will give the uh, feedback to the controller so as per as per temperature the machine will control he will off and on the relay and solenoid valve so let me start the machine now i'm going to connect this uh, connector as per as male female heater here this is for the um, lcd and i have also the uh, male female heater pin here L type for the connection of the IO board. So, if I connect this one, so my device will become like this. So, normally, uh, it's the position is like this. So, I have here two uh, fan. One fan I'm using as a cooling fan, and other one I'm using as a compressor or motor or something. And I have one LED here. This is for solenoid indication. So, uh, as per as the LED solenoid will be on and off so i'm going to turn on my device you can see i have uh, this power supply at, uh, adjustable power supply so i'm giving the 12 volt power supply here so i can adjust the voltage later high or low but i need 12 volt so i'm going to fix the 12 volt supply so you can see some personal information on the screen this is my regular uh, writing so i'm going to show some personal information in the startup screen so after that, this uh, machine will be start the sterilization of the uh, input and output devices. So this uh, machine is self testing now. So he will test the input sensor and output devices one by one. So first he will uh, detect the low temperature sensor. As far as his uh, condition, he will uh, say if the sensor is okay or not. If there is something wrong in the sensor, he will detect and he will tell you there is some problem and also the high temperature sensor is detecting now if the value and reading is the correct and he will give you as per as his reading what is the feedback so high temperature sensor is also okay so after that he will go to the solenoid bulb on for the five second you can see the drain bulb opening after this off then he will start to the fan cooling fan you can see the starters on the screen fan going on so he will be on for five seconds and after that he will start compressor also he will test for five seconds once the compressor is on then he will read the data from the all the input and output device io so he uh, acknowledging this data so you can see on the screen he is how he is uh, going to receiving and after that the machine will be completely start because we have the screen status here high temperature low inside temperature outside temperature and outside humidity because I have the humidity sensor here so he will detect the humidity and he will tell you if there is high humidity you cannot run the machine as in my room now I have 40 percentage humidity and my room temperature 27 to 24 uh, 23 so different sensor is reading the different value so uh, if I said I have uh, already on this uh, one fan it means this is the compressor or something so I am my temperature the low pressure temperature reading is here now 23 degree so I can use this uh, temperature uh, for the something uh, device. Now I have uh, here at cool water, uh, I take it from my refrigerator. So I just I put the sensor here inside the water. So you can see here reading, it's going inside 15, 14 degree uh, immediately because this water temperature is like 14 to 15 degree. So still you can feel something cool. So. If I remove this one from the uh, water and just I swipe this some water then you can see the temperature will be increased so it's going 25 uh, the normal temperature the environment temperature so uh, same like this uh, I have high temperature also here so I have here one heat sink generating the heat so just I'll put here this high temperature so you can see uh, sensor and you can see the increment of the high temperature so it's a 
this now starting rising up 25 26 is continue getting up so i have this uh, condition here if this temperature is uh, higher than the 40 degree i mean i have the set uh, temperature here option so the default temperature set high temperature is 30 degree so i have uh, tolerance 10 degrees so if it's reach more than 40 degree any my second cooling fan will be thrown on because of this temperature so now my temperature is rising up so once it reaches to up to 40 degree then he will uh, start uh, you can see the screen still is rising up so 39 so once it reaches up to 40 see now 40.0 and my fan is thrown on you can see the this fan is on so if this temperature is uh, go down less than 30 degree then he will be thrown out so just i remove this one i, I just uh, keep this one and just it's still heat so uh, for immediately go down i will put it inside the cool water and you will see the temperature will be go down so it's uh, immediately one time it's come down 23 because this water is very cool so my fan is off same like this my uh, the compressor is still on so if i uh, i have here the temperature high temperature and low temperature set menu if i go inside you can see the low temperature and high temperature uh, i make this one first time the menu system the controller so this uh, low temp first i have low temperature 10 degrees this is the default so your compressor uh, will be on uh, more than 10 degree and it will off less than 10 degree same like this high temperature i have 30 degree so your fan will be off when this uh, temperature is low lower than 30 degree and it will on it's um, higher than 30 but i have tolerance here in the 30 uh, 10 degrees uh, tolerance same like this compressor on delay also i have here 5 degrees tolerance so i can make increase this 5 degree tolerance uh, how much you like like 10 degrees because you need to take the rest for the compressor on and off in between on and off delay otherwise there is the pressure and he has to release that pressure but fan there is no much more so you have to uh, adjust this compressor so i will say if i press this button you can see the uh, decrement of the low temperature and if i press this one it will be increased now so once i increase this one uh, i have 26 degree so it's reached 26 and you can see the compressor is off now because the limit is crossed so if this come less than 26 minus 5 because you have already told us 5 so it will be on see the 21 degree uh, minus 5 so 21 he start so and once i increase so if it is 25 or 26 he will stop same like this uh, the heat temperature also i have the multiple bottom here you have to press uh, if i increase this you can see here what is increment if it is to up to 100 and he will come to again 30 degree so you can see here 90 so 100 if i release it's go to direct 30 degree degree so if i put this one temperature again here so he will be he will on again then you can see here 30 plus 10 40 degree so my uh, uh, i put the sensor to the heat so if i uh, check this one and the, if i i can exit from the menu and i can see the actual reading here so there is a high temperature again uh, it's increment so 29 so it's continuously going now uh, i will show you my solenoid uh, valve is automatic on within 5 second for uh, every 5 uh, minute so this is my program so the uh, drain valve will be on uh, every 5 minute uh, for 5 uh, second so i have one feature here i want to show uh, like uh, uh, once your uh, sensor or some uh, input devices will be failure Uh, during the work so what will happen i will just remove my uh, low pressure or high pressure on any one sensor it means same like your sensor is uh, going damage off or starts open circuit so you can see just i am going to remove this one so you will see what you will you, you can see the machine change his mode and your or output is off and now the he is start to uh, maintenance uh, is a self testing mode and you have their temperature showing also he will say the low pressure sensor is uh, 
problem so what is the problem is open circuit or short circuit uh, he is going to detect and he will tell you is the short circuit or open circuit so now supposed to be open circuit so he so you the open circuit because i remove the sensor so if the sensor becomes short circuit so he will tell you also the sensor is short circuit after that uh, once you replace the sensor you have to reset the machine because uh, there is a uh, reading now i am going to reset my machine because i already connect the sensor uh, and actually now i oh, still i have opened this uh, circuit but i make the uh, high temperature sensor short circuit something like this so uh, we will see how he will detect this uh, short circuit here now i am going to reset the machine if i press this machine machine will be uh, bottom machine will be complete reset so it's a uh, complete resetting now and he's going to same procedure like before so let you pick up now the machine is detecting the sensor again so let we see uh, i make already the short circuit for the high temperature sensor and low temperature sensor i already connect here so i have this uh, high temperature so he is detecting now low temperature sensor so let we see uh, he will say you the low temperature sensor is okay and he will detect again the high temp high temperature sensor so let we see high side temp uh, sensor how he will detect he will detect that is the short circuit or not because uh, so obviously he should detect the short circuit so you can see here the sensor short circuit because i make already the jumper from positive to sensor input point the plus 5 volt to input sensor input point because I remove the point here and I put the, that plus 5 volt it means the short circuit if there is a short circuit means your sensor is uh, getting 5 volt higher voltage uh, input so he is saying to you high temperature sensor short circuit and the machine will not go the uh, operation uh, mode because you have already sensor problem so uh, once you fix the problem this sensor uh, then he will go to the other stage otherwise he will uh, continuously show you there is a problem in the sensor now I fix the sensor so I am going to reset the machine again because uh, without resetting the machine uh, he will not uh, detect the new configuration or new uh, condition of the sensor so I connect it but still he is uh, he will show you the sensor short circuit okay so I release the short circuit and just I connect the sensor as a normal and I'm going to reset the machine now. You can see now the machine is uh, restarted so uh, already and he is going to uh, slicization mode it's on, on progress so now machine will be uh, self-testing mode again so he's, he will detect the low sensor, low pressure sensor, temperature sensor plus uh, high temperature sensor I have both sensor connected here so let me see he detect the low temp temperature sensor and its sensor is okay so he will go again to the uh, high temperature and I connect already I release it so obviously he will tell you also the uh, sensor is okay then he will uh, go to the normal operation mode and your device will be run as per as your input data you will see the uh, machine is go to the self test mode now and he on the solenoid so now he test the fan he is going to test the fan and he is going to after this he will test the again the compressor ok so he's, he test the compressor for 5 seconds and after that uh, he will go to the normal operational mode so data receiving from the uh, all the IO and he will acknowledge and he will record and he will keep save this data for his information so now yeah, you will see the, all the information input output the temperature value and humidity and everything so that is the main things and you can manually on and off your uh, solenoid bulb if you need once you press this button one time so for one second and he will on the uh, solenoid bulb for five seconds and after five seconds this solenoid will be automatically off so, so I have this uh, solenoid uh, continuously his own timing it's uh, for five minutes after every five minutes he will on for the five second that is the everything and you can use this control for uh, any kind of 
devices like uh, heating and cooling technologies all kind of refrigerator air dryer and also some kind of a heater device heating device plus uh, air conditioner and everything so this is the main device and this device i am going to use the uh, i have next uh, program and the next generation refrigeration and air conditioning system this is without rotary device and without compressor and without gas so i am going to use this uh, controller in that device and next i am i will be uh, here with the new videos with the new generation of refrigeration and air conditioning system so uh, if you like this video or if you get some information about this uh, video and you still want to know uh, or want to uh, interest about this kind of videos just give thumb up and just uh, share it and you can also subscribe this video uh, so once I make my new videos you can get it directly and immediately first so everything is done thank you very much for watching this videos and thank you again